Welcome to day 30. That's a, that's a month. Well, one of those months, you know. 30 days has September, April, June, or November. So I guess uh, it's June right now. So we'll say it's a month, 30 days. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you this kind of neat little archways there. We're not going that way, of course. We're going this way. We're leaving Santo Domingo de Calzada at 6.30 in the morning. And of course, I have to show you the way Mark's leaving Santo Domingo de Calzada. They're kind of cool. In the grounds. There's also arrows on some of the walls. It's not like we'll have a whole lot of trouble getting there. Even though yesterday was a little bit of a challenge, even with the GPS. Because a lot of the trail was kind of like last year, walking through Paris. And yeah, ooh, there's another one. Yeah, the route I chose, the variant, was way overgrown. But, we made it. New day. Sun just beginning to rise over those mountains as we head out of Santo Domingo de Calzada. It's kind of a nice view. Sorry for going so fast. Sometimes I don't realize how fast I'm uh, panning this thing. And then it gets all jumpy and jerky. And look at that, there's a mountain straight ahead of us. What are the odds we're going to go over that? Hmm. Yesterday was a 90% chance of rain. Today was supposed to be cloudy all morning. Guess what's happening? Both days. Sunny. And uh, it got up to 90 by 11 o'clock yesterday. Today, oh, I'm sure it's going to be about the same. We're coming up on our first town, though. That's Grandillon. It's about uh, eight kilometers into our day, I think. Maybe seven. I don't know for sure. But it's not a stop. We're going to hit Belorado. I know I said I've been there before. But Rob's got a cold. Not feeling so well. So, yeah. We're only going to do about... <clears throat> three and a half, four hours tops, and then hopefully sleep the rest of the day, if it's comfortable. So we're here in the center of Grenoble, and this is the church. It's pretty old, it's kind of neat looking. Maybe you've seen it before. Some of you have, some of you haven't. I'm still taking it anyway. This seems to be breakfast stop for a lot of pilgrims, but I had breakfast, so I'm gonna keep going. So we're finally leaving Navarre and uh, entering Castilla Leon, I think. He says the sign says. And uh, yep, we just crossed over. Our next town is La Decia del Camino. And then blah, 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 and blah, 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 and blah, 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 and Belorado with the eye. The fifth one up. That's where we're staying. Anyway, it's a beautiful view. Check that out. Oh, yeah. We're not quite halfway yet, but we're almost there. Oh yeah, we're going to go all the way around. And by the way, we didn't go up that hill that I showed you before. No, we didn't. Ooh, that's kind of a nice shot. Even with the sun. Well, we're now coming up on our first town in Castillo. This is Redesia del Camino. I had aspirations yesterday of walking here, but with the cold that I have and the heat that the sun was, we decided we'd be better off just to to stay where we stayed again and uh, yeah make some short days out of the next couple till we're feeling better. Nice way Mark here in uh, Rey de Ciudad del Camino showing you that we're in Castilla Leon. Nice cross here ah, and of course free water. Rob never passes up free water especially when it's hot like it is right now. The hop skip and the jump from uh, our last little Spanish town we have uh, this one, which I'm not sure the name of. The last one was Rey de Cia del Camino. The only reason I remember that is because I stayed there once. But here, I have no clue. But it does look like, straight ahead, there's more free water. That's good for Rob. It's warm already, and it's not even 9 o'clock. So this is the Plaza Mayor of this little town, which we don't know. And that water is not drinkable. But Rob did remember, as he was getting close to this church, that there was a soda machine. Whoosh! right over there as you round the corner. So we now have a nice Fanta. As we exit the Plaza Mayor here, this is neat. No idea what it is, but yeah. I might even take a real picture of that. All towns and big views of what we get today. Is that even in focus? I'm not having problems focusing. At least it's uh, still working right at the moment. And that's a big pile of hay. Yeah, that's a view, but I more meant all this stuff. 
uh, except for the power line, of course. Ooh, and those lonely little trees right there. So this little town is called the Veloria do Rioja. And, uh, yep, not very big, just like the last two. Still a great view once we get past this tree, though. Ooh, look at the flowers. Yeah. So right out in front of the church here is this little something. It's a monument. I'm not quite sure what it says other than welcome. But if you uh, can read Spanish, you can zoom in and see that. Anyway, this is the little town. Oh, that's a neat building. <sighs> Look at the flags. World Cup. It's all about the World Cup right now. I just had the free water. And this is the church. And, uh, yeah, I want to take a break for a second. And here we are, coming up on our next small town called Villa Mayor del Rio. It's, I think, the smallest one so far. I don't see a whole lot coming up. A couple of buildings, a car. Ooh, there's a fountain. Ooh, but it looks like it's a not good water for drinking fountain. But I have enough water. We only have about three kilometers to go. Ooh, a dog. What's going on, dog? You all right, man? He just sitting in the shade. That's what I want to be doing, sitting in the shade. Three more kilometers. I could be sitting in the shade. So we're walking along this dusty road right next to the highway. And the last sign we saw said three kilometers to Bellarado. That was at least two kilometers ago. And uh, I see some buildings up there. Now I see a sign on the road that says four kilometers to Bellarado, which uh, leads me to believe something is amiss. Anyway, even if it's four kilometers, that means it's about another half an hour, 40 minutes tops. But it's been blazing hot in the sun, so we'll be very welcome once we actually do get there. Very, very, very welcome. Yes, you're blazing. So we're headed up onto Bellarado now. Uh, this is the outskirts of Bellarado. We're actually physically inside, but actually we're going to stay at the Albergue Cuatro Cantones. We've stayed there before. It's only six euros. I think this one's only five, but this one here, though it has many things, including a swimming pool, is not exactly in the best location. A little something interesting about this district of El Coro in Ballarado. And yeah, in the 12th century, King of Ararca and Aragon, Nevada and Aragon, yes, that's what I said, gave this district a privilege that allowed it to celebrate a market. It's the most ancient market. Whatever most ancient means. I'm not going to read the whole thing because you could pause it and read it. There's the church. And some stork's nests up there. Yeah, there's even a stork there. Guess there's no deliveries going on today. For the old part of the town, I'm guessing around where the market was, right in front of the church here. But up there on the hill is the ruins of where the castle was, which I showed you before. We won't be going up there this year because our ankle's bothering us again. After a couple days, it was just fine, and then all of a sudden, boom, it's back like a vengeance. So we're just going to head ourselves to the albergue. Okay, so this is the albergue Cuatro Cantones, and we have stayed here before. And uh, the reason we're inside, and the reason it's so empty is it's not open yet. But um, the door happened to be open, and I was just putting my bag down, and she asked if I wanted to go inside. I'm like, oh, please. Anyway, this is the bathroom. It's co-ed. That over there is the room. I'm not going to walk inside right now, um, because I told her I'd wait outside. She's, but anyway, I'm having a beer because they have this wonderful beer machine just right over there. This is the kitchen. This is a nice little place. And uh, out here is their nice little garden. Over there is my cerveza and my sunglasses. And Miss Acuna, this is a backup extended battery pack. That is how I can do this all day long. Of course, my phone crashing every day now is putting a damper on things. Anyway, we're just going to come out here. This is pretty neat. I mean, this is a nice place, and for six euros, you can't beat it. Anyway, that's their swimming pool, too. This place has got everything. It's got a swimming pool. It's got little bunny rabbits. Well, good morning to you, too, but it's a little late for that, I think. Don't you guys? I mean, morning was like hours ago. Okay, whatever you say. I mean, you guys know what's going on around here better than I do. I'm only here like, I got it, I got it. Okay, well, I'm not sure if we've been in here before. Into the Iglesia of Santa Maria, the Church of Santa Maria. 
Uh, yeah, here it comes in English. You can read about it. I'm going to go inside and check it out. Oop, sorry about that. As I look at it, I definitely have been inside here before. I just don't know if it was last year or the year before. So I don't know if I videoed it for you. So, I'll take a couple shots. Not too quickly. My ankle is really giving me problems right now. I should probably not be walking around so much. Since I got like, ooh, 30 more days left to go of walking. That's neat. I'll show you these pillars and the ceiling and the door. It's pretty empty right now. I'm like the only one here. Pretty neat. I'm gonna sit down though. If we check this out, see what it is. I mean, clearly it's a gate that's closed, but I'm not gonna go inside and see. There's another little chapel area. Whew. Okay, break time. Our ankle's been bothering us today. Quite a bit, actually. But, um, Luis, if you're out there anywhere watching this, do you remember Bellarado? How we sat there? I don't know, four, five hours? Yeah, he drank a lot of beer, me and Luis. And then he talked to his girlfriend on the phone. And then we drank more beer. <clears throat> anyway, this is the center of Bellarado. I'm sure I showed it to you last year. Um, it's cool. Got this nice little pavilion here. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's neat. Anyway, I saw some friends sitting over here. Patrick and, and Leo. I think I'm going to go have a beer with Patrick and Leo.